Hello, my name is Mo Call, and this is my video for Project 4. Alright, now, for this simulator, there's two things it needs. The first is to download the package manager and then install Lumen SDK, which will have the remote after it's downloaded. It's also suggested to download the Magic Leap Unity package. So that way, for when you create a uh, application, and other than that, it's re you need a version of Unity that's compatible with Magic Leap, which all 2019s are. You can find the occasional 2018 that's compatible, but it's easier to use 2019 version as long as it's not the beta. As long as it's not the one currently in beta, because then it'd be. Beta has bugs and glitches that are still being solved, hence why it's called beta. So there might be some problems in there. And how to set up the Magic Leap is through the remote. There's two ways to do it. One is to go into Unity, the project, when you're ready to do it. M the Magic Leap, ML Remote, and then launch ML Remote. This is after you import the support libraries and you've set up your entire scene. So you imported the Magic Leap assets, the Unity package, all that stuff. That Magic Leap Remote, launch Magic Leap Remote. Or you can go to the package manager, click on Lumen SDK, and hit the use, use remote. Which then it'll launch this with the simulator off. So, start simulator, it'll go load up everything. Then it'll pop up this window, which is the interaction, which you then click here, which then You'll be here. You have to go find your Magic Leap, go to the MLSDK, the version you're on, virtual device, data, virtual rooms, example rooms, then you pick what room you want. And then it'll load that scenario in here so you can actually see it in action. Then to load the application, it's base you have your Unity open to the application you want, as long as it's a Magic Leap. You have your remote running, then it's press play. And if you notice, here goes black, which then it starts reveals here, which you can then move around, look at stuff. You can do the input controllers and eye trackers, it's just you would have to program those in yourself, so it's easier just to, if you have a device or have access to a device, hook up the device through the USB, and then you can also press play there and play it exactly like you would the remote, if you don't want to build and deploy to the application. You can still use other scripts that require no input, or if you have a tried and true method of using input, do that, or even just use the mouse inputs as stand-ins till then. And there are some problems that'll show up. The first will be you won't get it to run, and that problem mainly has to do with console, is any Unity application to play and test it, is you have to clear all the problems that show up. So first would be, if it doesn't run, go check your console, check all those, check if everything's running, if everything is, good. Another thing also to notice is that here it says OpenGL 4.5, it normally says DX11, and how to change that is you have to go to Edit, Project Settings, Player, you have to click this button, go to Other Settings, click this off, Add OpenGL Core and then move that up above 
DirectX 3D11 and then have it restructure the project to have it be able to play on the Lumen, uh, on the Magic Leap remote. Other than that, it's most of this, most of it should be easy enough. If you have any problems, like say faulty script, it should be easy enough. Then, if the remote itself doesn't want to work, the easiest way I found to solve that is to go uninstall the uh, Lumen SDK and then reinstall it and make sure your pointer is to the correct place. And that should solve most problems. If there's anything else after that that's bugging, you have you either need to search it up or send or create a small video of what the problem is, explaining it and such, and then send that to the Magic Leap itself from their website in order to get their help solving it. And other than that. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.